Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the living legend, William Shatner. Yep. Um, let me ask you this, Bill. Why did it take 91 years for somebody to make a definitive documentary about your life? Uh, why now and why with this team? Well, you know, I, I, you, I think this panel should be a mixture of uh, fun and, and maybe some serious stuff. The serious stuff is I'm 91 years old. Yeah, and no, 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 Jesus don't applaud 91 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Why now? Because my breath is short, I'm 91 years old, and this wonderful gentleman came along in the nick of time because all these autographs I'm doing are going to be worth a lot more money when I die. <laughs> and, the, and the documentary on my life, think of how quickly you'll sell it if I should die like on the panel. <laughs> Imagine everybody's good fortune if I should die right here. None of us want that, sir, but like that would be fucking amazing at Comic Con. <laughs> People like he died like the legend he was, man. No, this is a real surreal moment for us at Legion M, I can tell you, because like you said, it, six years ago, this company was just starting, it was a glimmer in our collective eyes. And at the time, we actually got one of our biggest breaks in 2016 here uh, with Stan Lee. We, uh, you know, we were just, the company was just an idea at the time and somehow we managed to wrangle an interview with the Los Angeles Times. Um, and Stan Lee uh, was part of that. He was an early supporter of the company and uh, he gave us this great quote. It was, uh, uh, a company owned by fans, that's such a great idea, I wish I thought of it myself. And it was just one of those wonderful, Stan quotes, but um, you know, when you look at that and then flash forward six years and you know, this is our first ever Hall H panel and we've got, we're doing a documentary with William Shatner and it's just, it's absolutely incredible. And it's, it's, it really, it's, it's because, it's not because of David and I and our good looks, it's because of all the fans. It's the fact that this company is literally, it's like all of us got together and said, let's create an entertainment company of our own. And so uh, we're thrilled to be here and uh, can't wait to see where we are six years from now. The management on this company is terrific. These are a group of vital, uh, 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 young, Gish, well, they're not 91, <laughs> the uh, uh, intelligent, creative people. And so I put my, uh, two, my, my two cents in uh, to ride with them. We're glad to have you, Bill. Very happy. Very happy. Let's talk to Carrie and Alexander. You, in order to tell anybody's life, you know, you're like, what do you focus on? You're talking about, I don't know if you know this or not, the man's 91, so <laughs> he's got a lot of years to choose from. How do you, how do you go about even begin? Like, to me, it would have been dumbfounding. Like, how, where do you start? Yeah. I could do a documentary just literally about his delivery in Star Trek II when he's giving the eulogy, where he does that fucking dramatic pause, is that where you could, it always puts a lump in my throat, where he's like, of all the souls that I've encountered, his is the most human. Like, I would do a two-hour documentary about that. <laughs> that All right, we're going to have to change it up now. <laughs> or do some reshoots. Right. Where do you begin to encapsulate a life like his? Well, you know, so I, I should say that I, I first actually started watching, I mean, I grew up watching Bill on a black and white television in Switzerland. That's, that's where I grew up. And, uh, and I've been a fan, obviously, for, for a long, long time. But now that I got the opportunity to, to get to know you a little bit. Um, I'm really a fan of Bill the human. Yeah. And, and I'm really a fan of your observations on life, on nature, on the universe, uh, on these connections, you know, these things that connect us all, really, in sort of strange, mysterious ways. And so I... I I started really thinking about what is the best way, at least from my perspective, to make a film about Bill. And I was thinking about his wonderful autobiographical songs, which you guys need to be familiar with. They're really wonderful. And there's these themes that come up 
that clearly after, shall I say, 91 spins now around the globe. I think we worked that joke. We worked that, right? <laughs> but, you know, that are really meaningful to you. Um, and, and so basically I decided to structure the doc around a number of songs and delve into um, essentially a number of themes that I felt were really important to Bill. And uh, so the film is really a celebration of, of Bill, uh, you know, the human and, uh, and of his career, of course. Uh, but it's going, going to be a very lyrical film, I think, a very poetic film. Uh, Carrie, how hard was it to pull off? It's one thing for that guy to be like, this is what I want to do. You have to figure out how to do it. Well, uh, I'll tell you, it's been easier than you would think. And it's really because of everybody here mm -hmm. at the table. You know, I, I was thinking back to when our relationship started, which was back with memory. I remember we had just screened it at Sundance and we saw David's head, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's about this, it's a head above all. <laughs> and I remember him coming straight towards us and handing, him the, uh, handing us the card and we met, we had breakfast the next morning and we've just been so excited to work together again. They're amazing partners, they do listen. Um, for filmmakers, it's amazing to have partners that are like, what do you want to do? What do you think is important? Not this is how it's going to be, which is is rare. Right, very true. <laughs> it's like a family, really. It I mean, really I feel is. like Exhibit A and, and Legion yeah, M were just we like, I don't a, know, we're, it almost feels like some, we're, we're, when we're interacting, we're almost like part of the same company. It's weird, you know? And I, and I must say also with, with Bill, he was talking about the horse earlier. We got to see that. That's, I mean, it's amazing, the energy, amazing energy uh, that this man has. So it's been just a joy to, to work with him and to, to have him share this amount of time. We spent three days together in a studio <laughs> grilling him, and he, and he shared a lot. So it's, it's been easier than you would think. Um, are you guys done with the movie? Have you shot everything? You finished? No, no, no. We still have uh, some some footage to, to, to shoot. We're shooting around today quite a bit. Did you really, have you shot anything in Hall H? Uh, you know, we it's difficult to shoot around here. Yeah. Because they, yeah, there's rules about right bringing shit. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. I know. But what if so, somebody shot with like a like a cell phone? Like I hear they make movies with <laughs> cell phones now. And, yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah. I, so if that was the case, then we could potentially yeah. get all these people in the movie as well. Correct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I think we could. Yeah, yeah. That's what would we need to do for that, man? You all want to be in a movie, kid? Yeah. <laughs> Got to sign a release. <laughs> <laughs> Two thousand releases. Um, okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna get the cr uh, crowd screaming while Alexander, Carrie, David, and Jeff are gonna stand up and use their phones to capture to footage of the crowd. So ladies and gentlemen, if you love William Shatner, let me hear it right now. 